Hey guys, so if you ever have a favorite sports team and they're doing really, really poorly year in, year out, they change the coach, okay, nothing happened. They change some of the players, they change the GM, and they just kind of continue changing things. Then you realize the problem is management, right? <laughs> That's why the team is doing so bad. Often teams are the problem is the individuals, right? Managing the company. I believe this is exactly Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. And this is also my core belief that it's never going to change. Like it's just not going to change because management would have to theoretically lay themselves off which is quite bizarre right why would management do that they're not going to do it because at the end of the day they are management so they would rather lay off 1100 employees some of them who are probably really good I was reading an article about brain drain and i think that is a problem uh, if i am concerned about creativity then certainly the solution is not to lay more people off and I think uh, in terms of where Magic the Gathering is right now, it's not fun. Uh, it is not a fun time, in my opinion, to be a Magic the Gathering player. And mainly because you are in a situation where, you're number one, you're, it's a bad situation. No one is going to tell me otherwise. I think it is a very, very bad situation. And until management, uh, who is who is management? Who is management? Okay, management is Cynthia Williams, and management is Chris Cox. Those are the two guys that I would love to see if they could be changed out. Maybe not given not given a more important role. Maybe given a less important role, or something along those lines. I honestly think they are doing a very bad job. And if you go to Dungeons and Dragons, you will see that Dungeons and Dragons, they have they're much more vocal about this stuff than Magic the Gathering is because they don't have as much of a a risk, right? So the reason that most content creators are not going to be so vocal about them is because they still would like to receive free stuff, sponsorships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you can understand why that would be important for small time or even larger YouTubers, right? Because, yeah, sponsorships, that's money. That's money in your pocket. Why well, turn that down? I would, however, advise you that eventually they're going to gut the pig and there will be no no sponsorships to begin with. Um, that's what I would say is that this egg, the carrot they're dangling, isn't really a carrot if the game no longer exists or the game kind of goes down. Now you might say, oh, well, I, I heard Wizard of the Coast was doing really, really well. Um, yes, they are doing very well. Their finances indicate that it is the only department doing well. The other departments are doing incredibly poorly at this point in time. However, there is a interesting sub... So they one of these, comp, one of these card games, they interviewed a ex-employee. And at this ex-employee, the ex-employee said that they had a meeting, a town hall meeting. And Cynthia was saying, hey, you guys suck and we're losing money. And then people in the back were like, no, no, we're making money, right? And Cynthia was like, no, you guys are doing a terrible job and lazy and we're all going to get laid off. And so according to Cynthia, they're not making much money. And... She even had to correct the HR person who was saying, oh, everyone's doing a great job. And it's like, no, not everyone's doing a great job. I find this, you know, like it's, it's a town hall meeting. Like, what the heck's going on here? Like, you know, I've been part of town hall meetings before for companies. It's most mostly, you know, hey, we have concerns. Let's address the concerns we have. It's not like this negative, right? It, it's kind of like, oh, we're going to fix this together as a team and rally and, and you know, become better because of it. So I definitely have this inkling feeling that something is very, very wrong with um, Wizards of the Coast. And I think it's management. You know, if I had to take a guess, just a random guess, you know, they're doing well financially. They're, they probably need to split off for a different company. I mean, to be quite honest with you, that's probably would be best for the employees and the game as a whole. 
But as long as Wizards of the Coast is part of Hasbro and Hasbro continues to lose money, they're going to reprint cards every single day, every single year. Every, every single set will have a bunch of reprints. They're going to decimate any card value. Uh, the reserve list is probably gone. And they had this problem to open gaming license in Dungeons and & Dragons. And they actually, as a group, stood up and said, No, if that's what you want to do, then we're not going to play your game. And that's exactly what they did. They threatened to boycott, and they actually boycotted. And then uh, what happened was they had to apologize. Was it a coast? I don't know if it was Chris Cox. or No, I think it was Cynthia Williams. Yeah, I remember reporting. Cynthia Williams had to actually apologize for her bad behavior. This is, again, a person who's never played, played a Dungeons & Dragons game, so they won't understand how important open license gaming is. Now, of course, they might try it again, but I'm sure the Dungeons & Dragons crowd is more intelligent and smarter than the Magic crowd, and they can actually get some stuff done. That's what I'm, I'm saying is this isn't the first time they tried something stupid. But it is the first time it actually worked because at the end of the day, you know, Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro, these layoffs, to me, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, no, they're just cold. No, you wouldn't make a layoff if your company is doing well of this scale. Um, like some people suggested, you could find these talented people and they're doing good work. Uh, your company's making more money. So if you just took Wizard of the Coast by itself, it's making more money than it's ever made. It's having all these IPs. It's having all this, you know, really good PR for the most part, Post Malone and so on. I think Wizard of the Coast is kind of heading in the right direction. You wouldn't make layoffs to that part of the company, but they did. And they did not just in Magic the Gathering, they did in Dungeons and Dragons. And there's a video where a lot of people are very upset. I can read you the video topic because I think people in Magic the Gathering, they just don't have any concept of like what's actually going on. It's hard to understand. Um, I'm going to try to find it for you. I do not know. But Dungeons and Dragons is definitely a much more intelligent group of individuals i've actually had a good conversations with them and for the most part um they basically were you know the discourse was much more cordial and much more uh intellectually stimulating than anything i've had here with anyone else right so i kind of enjoyed my time I, unfortunately i don't play dungeons and dragons otherwise i'd probably just go over there and try to be a content creator over there but i can read you some comments about it and it would shock you how like um, how they rally together as opposed to tearing each other apart, which is the uh, idea of Magic the Gathering, right? Because they're in the mentally, you know, they have to work together with Dungeon Master to beat the Dungeon Master. Um, so it's a multiple players working together game as opposed to Magic the Gathering where it is a everyone for themselves game. Selfish versus selfless, if you will.